بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my dear students? Today in شاء الله we will continue speaking about adaptation for obtaining food <coughs> Objectives today we will learn together that animals adapted to be able to be able to get food to feed themselves and their young in order to survive so that all of animals need to survive so they are going to adapt it with the environment and the ways to feed themselves like hunting and get prey. We study before that there is two types of adaptation. First one structural and second one behavioral. Structural means change in body parts to help them to get food. <coughs> behavioral change in behavior to get their food means move from one environment to another environment or uh, they can hunt in groups together. First one at structural adaptation, giraffe tank. Giraffe tank is adapted to reach and grasp the leaves from the branches. Also giraffe allow it to obtain enough food from the savanna plants that live on. Also the giraffe height enable it to reach the high branches of the acacia trees where it gets most of its food. Its long, its long tongue can grasp the branches and pull them closer. Also, its lips and tongue are also dot and literally to prevent it from being built, <coughs> being, being poked by the sharp thorns of acacia plant. Here also another example for addition, humming pelt has a long, a long and thin peak to reach nectar and flowers. So it helps it to get its food. Also here, the bear uses its strength to kill its prey and fight other predators for food. Here we can find spider monkey. Spider monkey has strong tail and flexible, and it's useful in climbing and climbing and or hold on trees. We can see its tail and its arms, all of them are structural adaptation. Helps it to move from one tree to another to get its food and try to survive. Here, uh, the falcon uses its sharp claws to grab its prey. Animals that feed in another animals, we call them predators. They need adaptation that enable them to catch their prey. Predators usually have strong muscles, jaws, and claws to grip their prey tightly and kill them. Like we see here in Falcon, it uses its sharp claws to grip its prey. Here also we can see another type or another example of adaptation long and sticky tongue at frog to reach and catch prey long and sticky tongue at frog to reach and catch their prey this is also we can say structural adaptation at the end my best wishes for you. For any questions, please contact me. Don't forget your homework at workbook or at workbook page 99. Take care, my dear students, and goodbye.